Hello, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Today we're going to begin a four-part video tutorial that will span over four days that will be focused around a Photoshop CC photo manipulation. All right, so the title of this is going to be If War is Hell, and I'm going to show you a preview right now. And so that's the image. So of course, again, this is going to be all done entirely in Photoshop CC and the project files. If you want access to the actual source, the source file that I'm working on, they're available for free in the description below this video. I'm also going to be linking all of the actual resource images that we're going to be using. Uh, so yeah, uh, check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet and subscribe here on YouTube. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started by going to file new and we'll just call this war poster although it's not really in the dimensions of a poster i'm just going to stick with uh the width of 1280 by 720 resolution 72 now this you would want to be a lot higher if you did want to actually make this something you could get printed but just for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to keep it at a web resolution of 72 background contents you can leave whatever you have default all right so because of my resolution, it's only at 66.7% um, when I'm filled in here. So I'll be switching back and forth between this and 100%. Um, so for the background color, I'm just going to choose a color that's almost black, but not quite. So 141414 for the hex code. And I'm just going to fill this in. And we can rename the layer to background. But there's going to be so many layers, I'm probably not going to rename all of them as I probably should. But uh, anyhow, so basically... The first image that I want to use is right here, and this is linked in the description along with all the other uh, assets that we're going to be using here. So basically, I'm going to use the large 1600 version. So if I right click and just copy image and come back here and paste this in here with control V, we'll see that we have this large sort of army, you know, picture photograph. So what we want to do is I'm not going to bother cutting everybody out individually. That would take forever or going around the heads and everything. So what I want to do is just quickly take the eraser tool with a brush. We'll see how big this is. Roughly right around, uh, I guess, 120. And we'll just get rid of the top portion. And it's not going to really matter if they're the top row the the their heads i guess uh, are cut off too much so and that's because they're going to be really set into the background quite a bit and they're also we're going to adjust the oops we're going to adjust the hue and saturation and uh the the brightness and darkness as well all right so i'm going to zoom up here to 100 percent and now I'm going to rename this layer here and call it uh, Army BG as in background. And we'll go ahead and click this. If it's not there, just go to Window and Adjustments. And this comes up. So with that layer selected, we'll select the Brightness and Contrast. And you want to click this button if you only want it to affect that specific layer of Army BG. So we'll be doing that most of the time. And I'm going to, going to shrink this up a little bit. And basically, we also want to go to image. Well, first we're going to select Army BG, image adjustments, and desaturate. And then we'll come back here for brightness. And we're going to take the brightness right, in, right around negative 73 and then contrast around 89 just for now. All right, so I'm going to close that, and I'm going to zoom out. All right, so now what we basically want to do is take out our second image to work with, and that is right here. All right, so we'll take this here at the 1024 resolution and copy that 
and then I'll paste this in. Really want to work with this one. That's like a double. It's like duplicated for some reason. I take the the pen tool with the path selected. Now I'm going to show you initially how to do this. And then I'm going to pause as I finish it because it would just take way too long. Or actually not pause, but I'm going to speed up. So basically the pen tool with path selected and all you're going to do is just go around by left clicking and dragging some of the times depending on, you know, the shape that you're working with. And just keep on going. until you get all the way around the group of individuals. And so, as you see, you can see, I'm not being 100% perfect, um, and that's okay, because ultimately, they're going to be real small in the actual image, and you're not gonna be able to really tell any specific imperfections, especially because we're uh, not working at a high resolution. All right, so, I'm going to speed this portion of the video up. All right, so I'm going to right click and uh, basically after you're done uh, and you connect the last, the, the first dot with the last dot, uh, or anchor point rather, right click, make selection, make sure these is all even or equal, and hit OK. And mine inverts the selection, it selects everything outside of. If that happens to you, just hit Control Shift and I and hit Control C to copy them and then delete them. And I'm going to zoom out by holding Alt and using my scroll wheel and then paste them in. All right, so I'm going to save a copy of them. I'm also gonna rename them here to uh, Soldiers 1. And I'm also going to duplicate them just to save a backup, just in case I need to start over with them, which it's always a good idea to just save a copy. So I'm going to hit Control T, scale them down. All right, and maybe roughly right around here. Select the move tool, hit apply. And then we want to go to image adjustments, desaturate. All right, so basically all of our images we're going to be desaturating for the most part. Uh, and then we also want to come in here, we'll zoom up to 100% and we want to take out our adjustment layers give it a brightness and contrast and the contrast oh one second make sure you select this just so it selects that layer only and just turn up the contrast a bit and brightness maybe down just a tad bit so negative 20 and 62 all right close that out all right, so uh, let's move on. We'll go ahead and select and use this image next. So I'm going to use the, yeah, the large, uh, the 700 by 432. Right click, copy image, paste that in there. And then once again, we got to uh, take our pen tool at the path and just start going around everybody. So once again, I'm going to basically speed this up like crazy. And I'll see you in a second.
All right, and basically, uh, I left that guy out. You could, you know, whatever you want to do. And I basically went to uh, that type of selection. So we'll right click and make selection. Okay, Control Shift I, and copy that. Deselect Control D, and then delete that layer. I'm gonna zoom out here. Paste these guys in there. Now, obviously, because of uh, how old this image is, a lot of not a lot of work, but basically, we were have to make quite a bit of adjustments. I'm also going to get rid of that portion right here. Right click, make selection, and Control Shift I, hit delete. And we're also going to be scaling these guys down quite a bit as well. We kind of want these over here to be the same on the same horizontal path. So these guys are going to be all the way over here. Okay. And just right around here. And I'm also going to use the new tool, which is called Perspective Warp. And basically these, you see how the perspective is. It, it's not really aligning correctly with these guys. So the way you can kind of quickly change the perspective is to select the front people right here, and then left click and drag and select a portion around those individuals in the back. And make the adjustments just very slightly like this, and then select warp and then bring this down just a little bit, hit apply. So that slightly kind of gives you, uh, it allows you to change the perspective basically, just very slightly. And if it's a tad bit, if it warped it a little bit, that's, that's no problem because we're really gonna be adjusting these guys quite a bit. So we'll do that right now. So let me take, uh, we'll rename this to Soldiers 2 and We'll go ahead and get our adjustment layers out. So brightness, contrast, we want up a lot. Make sure you select this as well. We also want to image adjustments, desaturate them. Go back to our adjustment layer. And let me zoom out here. Okay, so there's still there's not still not enough contrast. We can add uh, levels here. Let me click that to make sure it's pointing down to just this layer. And let me drop this down. And you can begin to play with these levels right here. I'm going to zoom up. All right, and I'm going to close this. And I'm going to get rid of some of that white stuff in the middle. Now, you can take the magic wand tool, depending on what your tolerance is. It may just be faster. Tolerance is 50. Contiguous, turn it on. And again, we're not working at high resolution, so uh, it's not that big of a deal. All right, so I also want to, yeah, go ahead and take a new layer, Control Shift N, make sure it's a clipping mask right here. Hit OK, and we'll take the brush tool with a soft feathered brush, so hardness zero, size. We'll try around 180 with a black color selected. Just up like around there. All right, so I'm gonna zoom out. All right, that's our image so far. I mean, I mean, I will definitely probably 
adjust these two individuals a little bit more to make them look uh, better. But I want to move on just to some different areas. So now what I want to do is add in some clouds beneath everything, well, with exception to the background. So I'm going to hit Control Shift N for a new layer. We'll call this Clouds 1. And we'll take the brush tool. And I've linked uh, cloud brushes in the description of this video on YouTube. So you can download those and get those uh, installed. It's very simple. You just load brushes uh, right here. Or you could just double click on them, depending on your version of Photoshop. Once you extract them, it'll just automatically load in right here. Okay. So uh, now what I want to do is take the foreground color uh, right around here, I'd say 59, 59, 59. Hit OK. And I'm just going to experiment with some different clouds just to see, you know, what this kind of looks like. All right. I may scale that down just a tad bit. It's at 14. I'm going to try 1,200. All right, right around there. And then create a new layer, Control-Shift-N, Clouds 2. And you don't have to exactly use, you know, whatever I'm using in terms of the cloud brushes. Anything will work almost. All right. Let's see about putting one up here. No. New layer, Control Shift N, Clouds 3. That doesn't look good. And so, really, this is about just experimenting, basically. Nah. Hmm, having a hard time here finding something I like. That's a little bit better. And then we're going to make some adjustments, of course, to these. So select our first one. I'm going to take the uh, eraser tool. Oops. Get rid of anything that shows beneath or underneath our back background soldiers back there. All right, so... I'm going to take uh, Clouds 1, and I'm going to hit Control shift n for a new layer and make it a clipping mask. All right, so let's take our a large feather, feather brush, and maybe not that big. All right, right around there. Take a red color, select Overlay for the blend mode. All right, and do that to clouds two as well. And go a little bit lighter or smaller. Oops. You don't want it to be too much in certain places. Do to clouds three as well. I'll also change that to overlay. And then change this to overlay as well. Okay, right around there is pretty decent. And I'm going to take Clouds 1, take the Eraser tool, and then just kind of delete or remove some of this just so they're not too, too prominent. Same thing with there. All right, so I... So far, so good. I think this is going to be a good place to just kind of stop it. And I, then tomorrow we'll pick up with continuing on with this photo manipulation. All right. I will see you then.